Also tonight, find the Chinese community leader revealed by our undercover investigation is found guilty of money laundering. Plus, soft and pliable, but hard enough to save your life. The Sussex engineer's remarkable invention. And the jam are back in Brighton, the city where they split up 25 years ago. Well, it's revolutionised the ski and snowboard clothing market and won three awards this year. Now, a Sussex company is branching out into the emergency services with its brand of shock-absorbing material. Gloves for riot police containing D3O have hit the United States and military uniforms containing the new protection are also being developed, as Juliet Parkin reports. This may look like it hurts and seems slightly insane, but in fact, not at all. Inside the trousers is a material based on this bright orange goo developed here in Hove. It's malleable and flexible, but restricts and reacts on impact to protect against blows to the body. Typically used in extreme sports, D3O is now being used to protect the emergency services and the military. You want freedom of movement in what you're doing, but you still want protection. So um, if you take the case of knee um, sort of protection, then sometimes in military markets you, you'll have very big, um, cumbersome knee guards, which can be restrictive. Originally developed in snowboarding gear, the bright orange pads are now being moulded in various shapes and sizes to cater for new demand. Tops laced with D3O are the latest must-have for urban athletes in the fast-growing sport of parkour or free-running. Former Royal Ballet principal Darcy Bussell tested point shoes fitted with D3O technology, which are now on the market. And riot police in the US are the first to try out new body armour fitted with the material. And in terms of fashion, it's changed the look the of staying safe. Through. If you look at a typical sort of... Um mountain bike protect, protector that's usually a hard shell, there's no flexibility in there, um, they're very bulky so you know you're not streamlined. Um, it's basically out with Robocop and in with Spider-Man. It's certainly not as cheap as conventional materials on the market such as foams and gels but the company is convinced that a bit of orange will go a lot further in protecting those whose job it is to protect others. Juliet Parkin, BBC South East Today, Hove. Amazing stuff. I'm not hard, sure I'd want to it? test it, would you? Well, I don't know. We, we, you can make cricket pads with it and go and have a game of cricket. You'd I mean, like yes. To test if, that, yeah. Well, if you can see the guy whacking it with a hammer, you tend to think it should be all right. But how bizarre. <laughs> now, can you imagine when I came into work today, they told me that we could have jam on the.